I decided that I wanted to go shopping today so I threw on this sewing make I pulled up the weather app and it's in the 60s so I decided to just go outside and take a little walk in the backyard just to kind of see what the temperature really felt like I wanted to make sure it wasn't gonna be too too cold and it's not that bad anyway I am going to stop by Joanne Fabrics. I have no idea what I'm going to get. I just kind of want to walk around and browse. I feel like I haven't been there in a while. So I want to see what they have in store. I'm particularly interested in picking up maybe some corduroy fabric. I've seen some really cute corduroy garments online. So I'm like, hmm, got my wheels turning so i just want to see what they have in store so that's my plan for the day and this is a sweatshirt dress that i made a while ago so i'll put a link to this garment in the description box I was in there for so long trying to figure out what I wanted. I looked through the simplicity book and I decided that I want to make a shirt dress and I did pick up this corduroy. It is a green, I don't know if it's coming off as green. Yeah it is. Okay so it's a nice green color. It's darker than it's showing up on the screen but I think this should be nice to work with and this is a shirt dress pattern that I have made before but I made it in the long view and this time I want to make the shorter view now this pattern or the view that I want to make on this pattern does call for 19 buttons and I found some buttons that I like they were like these little brown round shank buttons but they didn't have enough of them in the store they only had about 15 I think I saw four packs or five packs of three so I was like okay that's not gonna be enough so I didn't get any buttons I'm gonna go ahead and just sew the dress up see how everything is going I may even have buttons at home because I recently bought a jar of buttons and they were all different sizes but they're wood and they're light I'm not sure if that will look right or if I would like the way it would look with this color so I'm not gonna worry about buttons right now I'm just gonna make the dress and see how it goes and then I'll get some buttons later. My fabric is in the washing machine and I'm just fixing up a little lunch. I'm going to make some broccoli to go with these mushrooms and then I think I'm going to make some pasta. That's the plan. Now here are the buttons. I thought the jar was much bigger but it's a little bit smaller but I still have a lot of buttons in here and I'll find some use for these I, I suppose. All the buttons are round and then there's just one little square button that got in there somehow. I noticed one thing that I want to change already. So if you see the view that I want to make has a curved hem. This view here, view B, has a straight hem and when you look at the pattern for view c this is how the hem would go it has this little curve here well since i want a straight curve i'm just going to line this ruler up with the cutting line for view c and then i'm going to take this line and go straight across and cut that out that way I bought two yards of fabric like the pattern recommended for my view but somehow I came up short so I ended up using some scraps for the pocket and then also some denim scraps I'm going to use for the neckline and for the cuffs. There was enough for me to get out three cuffs but then I had to use some denim for one of the extra cuff pieces. I've stitched the front darts and now I have folded over the front edge of the front of the dress and then I'm going to do a basting stitch all the way down. After the front is folded, then you fold it in one more time and basically do the same thing based along this edge and at the top. 
I have the pleats sewn into the back and then I decided to use the wrong side of the fabric for this back yoke area. And then now I'm going to attach the front to the back at the shoulder seam. I have part of the neckband on and this is how it's looking in the denim fabric since I didn't have enough of the corduroy. I decided to use the wrong side of the fabric for the collar and now I'm about to stitch the neckband down to the collar from the outside. I put the pockets in and now I'm about to start working on the sleeves. For the sleeve cuff, I'm going to use the wrong side of the fabric for contrast and then the bottom of the sleeve before the cuff is attached, there are pleats and then there is a continuous lap. To sew the continuous lap, I'm not using any pins. I have the top lined up with the continuous lap on the bottom and then I'm going to try to keep this as straight as I can and then sew from here to the point and then just slightly sew into the point and then come back out and sew down to the other end. I'm working on the cuffs right now and because I didn't have enough of the fashion fabric I decided to just use the contrasting denim fabric for the facing and that way it'll be on the inside and it should not show. This sleeve will be just fine because I did have the right fabric for this one. So I just left Hobby Lobby and I found some buttons. These are the ones I'm gonna go with. I think they're cute and they're dark brown, which is what I really wanted was some brown buttons. They are a little bit bigger than what the pattern calls for. The pattern calls for a half inch wide buttons and these are five eighths of an inch. But because the fabric is a little bit thicker by it being corduroy, I think these will work out just fine. I am about to mark where the buttons will go. There is a button that's supposed to go on the neckband, but I won't be putting that one. And I won't be putting the one that goes at the very, very top of the dress, but I will put all the rest down the front and then four on each sleeve. I am sewing the buttons on. This will probably take a while because there are so many. So I tried this on as a dress and I just like it way more as a jacket slash duster. This always happens every time I make a shirt dress, I end up liking it more as a jacket. So I don't think I will ever wear this as a dress. I doubt that I ever will because I just love it like this so much more. And these are my colors. I love like browns, greens, blacks neutral colors yes so here's the final look and i'll show you what it looks like as a dress